Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Merrick here, back with another daily chess puzzle video. Um, this is day 216 of posting chess puzzle every day for you. And this one is white to move. Black just played, uh, let's see, queen g2. Pretty dumb move if you ask me, but um, this is the puzzle. Please pause the video here. Comment down below what you think the answer is. Uh, as I said before, it's white to move. So, see you in a couple seconds. Alright. So let's brainstorm a couple of candidate moves here, um, as we always do before we start. Um, so, well, the king is pretty unsafe. Like, um, if the queen were to check the king on the back rank, it would be mate. So um, let me just brainstorm a couple of moves first. So d takes e7 is one possible move. c6 is a possible move. And queen d5 and queen e4 should be in your consideration. Um, so let's start with d takes e7, because it's pretty much the most forcing move in this position. Bishop takes e7, and uh, the best we can get is to draw from bishop f8 and queen e5 check. Black also has the option of playing bishop g7, attacking the queen. Um, we don't really have anything here. Let's say queen d6. Um, Black is winning, actually, with queen g6. And um, yeah, we are just lost here. So um, d takes e7 is not the best move. C6 is also um, not a very good move. Black will play take c6, and um, we might try to play queen e4 and take on uh, c6. Um, it's really clear how we should pre proceed here. Even with queen a5, um, something uh, like knight b8 or something, or d, d takes c6, and black is doing fine. So queen d5 and queen e4 should be your main consideration. Now, what is the difference between queen e5 Queen e4 and queen d5. Well, queen e4 keeps um, the pawn on 7 pinned. Since the queen pinning the pawn, um, e takes d6 is not possible because that would uh, be illegal, an illegal move since we're attacking the king. So queen d5 is not the right. Since e takes d6, um, it's possible for black after, let's say, c takes d6. Um, black is doing quite fine after, let's say, bishop takes d6. Queen takes c6 and queen g6, um, attacking this pawn and attacking the queen. Where this will, um, this position will most likely fizzle out to a draw, um, if white keeps the queen on the board. And yeah, this should be a draw. So, uh, queen e4 is the correct move. This is the only way that we win here. Queen e4, I'm threatening mate with queen a8 check. F6, um, black tries to escape. It is important to note that, uh, for example, knight b8 does not save black. We play queen a8, e takes d6, and now we just play queen takes b8 check, king uh, e7, c takes d6 check, king e6, and queen takes f8. We are up a piece. Um, queen e7 is check is coming next, so we are quite limited. So f6 is what black plays. f6 um, allows the king to have a left square where it can escape from the back rank check. So what do we do now? Well. Uh, queen a8 check is what we do. Because we're attacking the knight on a6 and attacking the king on e8. So what else uh, could we ask? So um, black has a couple of options here. Knight b8 and king f7. Well, king f7, um, if you guys can spot this small tactic, feel free to pause here and see if you can spot it. Knight e5 check. Um, discovery check for revealing an attack on the queen on g2. And after f takes e5, queen takes g2, we are completely winning. And the other move, knight b8, we just play queen takes b8 check, king f7. And um, the key idea is to play um, c6. c6 moves away for these couple of pawns, which will promote to a queen. And um, yeah, as I said, this is... So, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle. And um, feel free to leave feedback down below. It's really appreciated about how you felt this puzzle was and what I can do better in the future. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in day 217 and have a wonderful day.